Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead here on homepage.com as we obviously continuing to watch Hurricane Sally, which will not really impact our weather too much at all. I mean, just a little bit of an increase in the wind over the next couple of days this is what we're watching. Obviously, Sally, which is moving into Alabama. We do have a little bit of a weak upper level disturbance over the southern Rockies that is making its way towards the east. May give us a little bit of a chance for some rain tomorrow on Thursday. But once that clears, we're pretty much done with the rainfall uh, for most of the rest of the week. Update on Sally. Again, the storm is forecast to make its way inland here uh, during the uh, Really, the late night hours tonight, tomorrow morning, it'll make landfall over Alabama and then uh, continue through Alabama into Georgia in the next couple of days. Expected to be a Category 1 hurricane as it has slowed down so much that it's turned up quite a bit of cooler water. And as a result, it's not quite as strong as it once was and is expected to make landfall as a Category 1 storm. Here are some of the impacts uh, that uh, those folks will be experiencing. You can see the uh, wave heights already actually still over 20 feet over much of the northern gulf uh, we are also looking at storm surge which uh, again not going to be as much of an issue especially for Mo mobile bay since the storm is going to move uh, basically right over the bay the worst of the surge will be to the east of that and so we're not looking at much of a surge there and you can see most locations uh, a surge heights basically three to six feet uh, so not quite the extent that we were looking at when uh, Sally was a bit stronger and of course rain with the slow movement probably will become the biggest issue especially for the rivers in that part of the country as you can see uh, upwards of uh, one to two feet of rain will be a possibility and though there's still nothing too much as far as rain here in the Arklatex. So let's take you through uh, the next couple of days with Robin's Toyota Futurecast and you can see tonight looking at a partly cloudy sky across the region. Tomorrow we'll see the mix of clouds and sunshine. Shower a possibility but 20% at best as far as your rainfall chances for tomorrow. Looking at a mostly cloudy sky tomorrow night with a minor chance for a shower and for Thursday again possibility for that scattered shower or thunderstorm but again rainfall chances 20 maybe 30% at best across the region. A little bit more coverage Thursday compared to what we anticipate seeing uh, for tomorrow. And then basically some drier air will make its way into the region. Until then, looking at another very warm day tomorrow. After a warm start, lows tonight, upper 60s, low 70s. Keep in mind, lows normally this time of year in the low to middle 60s. So well above normal tonight. And we'll be pretty close to normal for tomorrow. 87 tomorrow in Texarkana, 90 degrees for the daytime high in Shreveport, 92 degrees for the daytime high in Natchitoches. And as I mentioned, might be a bit on the breezy side. Let's take a quick check on wind gusts. And as we uh, move through the day, we will see those gusts probably uh, in spots approach 20 miles per hour with sustained winds out of the north to northeast at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. So a little bit of an uptick in the wind, but nothing that's going to cause too many issues. And longer range, we will see some drier air kind of settle into our area. No significant upper level disturbances to worry about here uh, for most of the week ahead. Once we get past Thursday, we will be dry uh, and relatively warm. Uh, with uh, temperatures during the day relatively close to normal and a little bit below normal eventually at night as we look at uh, your seven day forecast again these are Shreveport numbers looking at highs this weekend settling into the middle 80s lows settling into the lower 60s and northern parts of the Oracle Tex low 80s for highs upper 50s for nighttime lows and we'll kind of stay in the mid 80s with lots of sunshine through the middle part of next week so uh, as far as uh, the next week possibly too relatively warm and relatively dry as we'll see that slight chance of rain both tomorrow and Thursday.